Rules allow you to automate actions in your reconciliation process. All rules include conditions. Rules run when the conditions that you specify are met. When you add a rule to a format, it applies to reconciliations for all profiles that use the format. There are two types of rules, reconciliation and transaction rules. Let's start with reconciliation rules. Reconciliation rules automate actions related to the submission and approval process for reconciliations. They can also set attribute values. For example, your reconciliation process requires that justifying documentation be attached to a reconciliation if the balance for unexplained difference is greater than zero. You can create a reconciliation rule that prevents preparers from submitting reconciliations with an unexplained difference greater than zero if they have not attached a justification document. For each rule type, you specify conditions that must be met for the rule to run. Auto-submit and auto-approve rules perform an automatic submission or approval when the specified conditions are met. Prevent rules prevent users from performing an action when the specified conditions are met. You can prevent submission, approval, and rejection of reconciliations. Require reconciliation attachment rules prevent a reconciliation from being submitted unless a file has been attached to the reconciliation. Set attribute value rules cause a reconciliation attribute to be set to a specified value. Send email on update rules send an email to specified users when updates to attribute values for a reconciliation meet specified criteria. You can create an alert to indicate problems in the process, attach it to a reconciliation or transaction, and assign a quick workflow to deal with it. These rules run when the preparer clicks Save. I'll add a rule to the prepaid insurance format that requires a justification document attachment if the explained balance is greater than zero. You use the Rules tab to add reconciliation level rules. I'll select Require Reconciliation Attachment from the list of rule types. You can optionally enter a description and a message to display when the rule is run. Now I'll define the condition for the rule. The condition specifies that the rule runs if the unexplained difference attribute on the Balance tab does not equal zero. The rule is added to the rules list. Now let's talk about transaction rules. Transaction rules automate actions related to transactions, such as saving and copying. You can also use them to set access rights to attributes. You can create separate rules for each transaction tab in the reconciliation. For each rule type, you specify conditions that must be met for the rule to run. Copy transactions from prior reconciliation rules cause transactions from the prior period reconciliation to be automatically copied into the current reconciliation when its status changes from pending to open. Prevent rules prevent users from performing an action when the specified conditions are met. You can prevent transactions from being saved or deleted and amounts from being edited. Require transaction attachment rules prevent a preparer from saving a transaction unless a file has been attached to the transaction. Set attribute access rules set the access to an attribute for user roles. You create transaction rules in the rules section of the transactions tab, except for the set attribute access rule type. To create set attribute access rules, access the rules tab for the attribute. In this format, the transaction date attribute for transactions is set to view only. I'll create a rule that allows preparers to edit the transaction date if the transaction is not carried forward from a prior period. Carried forward transactions will remain at the default of view only. I'll add the preparer user role with required access. Preparers will be required to enter a value for transaction date before they can save the transaction. Now I'll define a condition to specify that the rule runs only for transactions that have a value of no in the carried forward attribute. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.